Hi, I'm Kay. Today I'm gonna tell you why getting eaten by mushrooms or giving your friend a pair of chopsticks is good for our planet. Ooh la la, that's a topic. Eco-living is usually presented as a labor-intensive lifestyle, but it turns out one can help the Earth without much effort. The energy industry burns fossil fuels and increases CO2 levels in the atmosphere. Now, CO2 is the main gas responsible for the greenhouse effect, which is to blame for some of 2017's climate disasters. The solution here is moving the industry to renewable sources, but what can ordinary people do? Well, you could use energy-efficient light bulbs, if you don't already. For every 75 light bulbs used, we save one ton of CO2 emissions. That's nice! Another idea is to add more light sources to your home. Sounds counterintuitive, but it's proven that the more light sources you have in your house, the more likely it is that you'll use just the ones you really need. So, you expend less energy, save money on your electricity bills, and help the planet. Ooh, me likey. The same thing goes for AC systems. Don't run them 24-7, because that's just unnecessary. The process of producing energy also causes deforestation, which deprives us of our natural CO2 filters, the trees. But that's not the only problem. Approximately 100 trees are cut down every minute, which shrinks natural wildlife habitats to the point that some species go extinct. Now, how do we tackle that? Well, if you like Asian cuisine, buy yourself a pair of reusable chopsticks. And don't forget some for a friend. Because almost 4 million trees are sacrificed to produce 57 billion pairs of disposable chopsticks each year. This is 7 times more than the population of the Earth. That's ridiculous! Next, if you're a coffee nut but don't know the farm that produces your blend, stick to Arabica. These trees are usually grown in shade, whereas other species require more sun, which is worse for most animals. Obviously, one of the worst factors for wildlife is plastic. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch already illustrates how bad it is for the environment. But have you heard the recent story of the Thai whale? In June 2018, a whale was found in Thailand vomiting plastic bags and it died shortly after. More than 80 plastic bags were then found in its stomach. So how about next time you order a drink at a fast food restaurant, don't take a plastic straw. Let's not contribute to the plastic issue. People in the US alone throw away over 500 million plastic straws each day. That is a lot of plastic. A lot! So let's enjoy our beverages straight from the cup. An island of plastic, of course, sucks. However, the price for the worst environment for wildlife probably goes to landfills. They pollute the soil, air and groundwater. And the whole situation is only getting worse. The US is set to run out of landfill space within 18 years. Some states, including New York, already ship a huge amount of its waste to other states. Because they have nowhere to put it. It's that bad. Well, at least we can stop using diapers. If you have a baby, train it to use the toilet and fast. One baby needs around 5,000 diapers, which equals to three and a half tons of waste that degrades very poorly. I'm not saying you should glue your newborn to the porcelain throne. Just make sure to transition from diapers to the toilet ASAP. Or just use cloth diapers. They're not as gross as they used to be, I promise. And the same goes for women. Well, not the same, but look. More than 20 billion sanitary napkins, tampons and applicators are dumped into North American landfills every year. So, if you can turn to sustainable solutions, or at least to ones that are sustainably made, consider doing so. Talking about soil pollution, let's not forget human bodies. The dead ones. An equivalent to one and a quarter Olympic-sized swimming pools of formaldehyde is put into the ground with dead bodies every year in the US. In addition, the amount of coffin wood alone would be enough to build around 4.5 million homes. Just think about that for a second. And no, cremation isn't much better, because it releases nasty chemicals into the atmosphere. A better way to go would be to convert your body into a pot that eventually becomes a tree. Or put your ashes in a concrete bowl that will sink to the bottom of the ocean and feed coral reefs. Or perhaps just feed your body to mushrooms. Well, if you aren't digging these ideas, at least forgo embalming for your burial. Or use alkaline hydrolysis instead of cremation. By the way, if you are into topics like this, take a look at our friend's channel called Scientifically. They have you covered. The link is in the description box. Well, for me, I'm definitely going the mushrooms route or the tree thingy. Or perhaps I've missed some of the greatest ideas. If so, let me know. Also, which way would you prefer to go? Leave your thoughts down below and go plant a tree. See ya.
mi lajki. 